You have reached your destination. Yep. And this is what I'm doing today. <clears throat> Closing up the uh, the front portion finally. Um, got a little bit of metal bending to do to conform to this curve. If I force it, I can do that, but I don't want to uh, mess up that curve. I've already started to curve the metal a little bit. Um, these dots are where I'll drill holes for my uh, my welding pa uh, spaces, parts. I've also um, taken down this uh, this corner here because when the uh, when the front air dam is on, uh, that corner abuts it. So <clears throat> I took it down on both sides. Yep, yep, and on the back side. Yeah. So down here, I push it in. I've got the curve pretty nicely here. Right. It's just right here. I need to kind of bend it up a little bit more, but that's um matrix. That will denote where I'm going to uh, do some more bending. After that, it's uh, drilling holes along here and welding it in. Yeah, and then I'll do the same thing on uh, on the other side tomorrow. And I forgot to mention, I'm also closing up this portion of the um, the trailer. Uh, I don't know what else to do with it. I suppose I could cut some metal down, but. Um, I'm using this as structural stability, and I don't want to cut more than I do, than I already have to. So, I'm gonna close up some of these holes with welds. Um, I've cut this down nice and straight, as you can see. There's a metal sliver there, and I'm going to shape a piece that uh, that fits there, and then weld it in. Yep, yep, yep. Um, but again, but again, I'm gonna close off some of this stuff. Prior to all this, I think I'm going to uh, put a bunch of uh, epoxy primer up there in the uh, the cavity there, and uh, and uh, kind of tilt the uh, the whole trailer back a little bit so it stays up in there, um, because I do want uh, you know maximum uh, rust inhibition. Yeah, so gonna vacuum it out too. <laughs> all kinds of junk in there. There we go, that's in, and uh, weld it up. Nice job here, passable job there, and uh, a couple of welds there at the bottom, which will be the top. You can see a couple of holes that I'm going to close in from the top when I turn this thing over for body work. Um, I've got some things to grind down and get rid of anyway, so this is a good time as any. And then I'm going to um, fill in that seam uh, with tiger hair so that it looks nice. Yep, this is done. Um, with the use of these long ass vice grips, um, I was able to uh, to do this pretty pretty easily. Actually, um, I had a little bit of a bend here to uh, to mirror that came off pretty easily, and uh, everything welded in very quickly. So <laughs> I'm uh, pretty pleased by how this came out. Yeah, so I'm gonna grind these welds down and uh, start up on the other side. This is done. Uh, I've got the uh, welds ground down. Nice job of it too. And there we go for the uh, for the other one. Well, I'm about to start welding it in and uh, getting that thing done. Um, I don't know if you can notice, but that big dimple that used to be here, where I fucked up the welding at the one of the first uh, first times, I've uh, I've made some relief cuts and pounded it out. So my eventual bodywork on that side will be lessened in scope. I'm going to pause a second and show you something. So after I've been uh, uh, shaping and cutting and all that other stuff, I always wipe off the metal uh, to see where I'm at. And every time I wipe it off, I do more cuts or weld, or, weld or, uh, or drill bits. As you can see, my my holes are a matter of, you know, three or four drills. Every time I wipe off my metal, this is what I come up with. So I'm wearing a uh, an N95 mask. So that crap doesn't go into my lungs and my nasal passages, as well as anything that comes out of here. So, yeah, <laughs> some of the junk that's been coming off that um, off the metal 
is prodigious. There's a lot of stuff that gets in the air. I'm gonna try to air my garage out as often as I can, but you know, here we go. So I'm gonna start welding. And that is done. So there we go. I'm done for the night. Yeah, all those look nice. You can feel nice. Hmm. So what I'll do, let's just do it now. I'm gonna go with a hammer and a dolly behind and uh, pound smooth. Even, whoops, even what little bit of a gap I do have there. Not that I have to because I can fill it in with, uh, with body stuff, but yeah. Okay, so I've been thinking about this, about what goes next and that kind of thing. I do believe what's next is to shave these down on both sides. Oh, my back is killing me. And uh, start the preparations for turning this thing over. But I still need to do some of the body work where it comes to, uh, well, yeah, body work, for lack of a better term, where I've got to fill in all of these seams. I've got seam sealer out the wazoo. All these seams, all of these. All of these. Jeez, look at that. What the hell is that? Um, and, uh, put a hole there. And then do all of the prep work, body work, grind work, and paint work that I would need to do prior to turning this thing over. Because once it's over, it's over. I mean, this thing's getting pretty heavy. It's a couple hundred pounds now. And a couple of other things. Um, yeah. But I look what I've done. I really like what I've done. <laughs> I've, done a, I've done a heck of a lot of work. Yes, I have. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's enough for now. And at least that's enough for tonight. I'm tired. I'm going to go sit in my bathtub, watch a movie or something.